today I'll be doing a short review on the Sunway Photo XB44 DL. There were a few reasons why I purchased this ball head. One was because of the low profile. Um, really great, very low profile, help with the center of gravity, with movement, um, keeping that weight you know, lower on the tripod, increased stability, as well as the finish. The finish is great. Um, of this anodized black finish um, as well as its features and its high weight load. Um, I think that this is a, a really great product for the money for the $250. Higher high-end ball heads that are you know $300 to $500. Um, you know I could see if you're a professional to you know spend that you know extra 250 bucks perhaps but for the weekend warrior and people who just want great um, products for a good value I think this really represents that you can see it's really nice looking it's really smooth um, really clean doesn't pick up fingerprints so much um, you know here and there some grease smudges um, but not um, not that much it's really a very nice finish um, this ball head is 44 millimeters, so um, it's a pretty bulky ball head. Um, you know, I think this is great for a 2 series tripod, um, even a travel tripod, but I think a 2, uh, a two series is, is perfect. As you can see, these have a really nice um, feel to them. They are, uh, they have these little grooves. They're metal, they have this uh, aluminum end, but they're very grippy so and very comfortable um, they have the same style as well as on the ball head release knob and as you can see this um, I had it loosened it's very smooth it's very smooth um, I have mine on a little tight I want to make sure when I have something on that it doesn't fall but the way that you adjust this is by this little valve this little screw you loosen it up a little bit right here and then you unloosen that and now we got a much smoother head you know I might actually keep it at that and then tighten it up it it, it, it gets relatively tight quick like right here oh, I can barely move it so let's let's tighten it up some more barely move it oh, I can't move it now but I want to show you that it still has some play to tighten. Ah, oh, right there is tight. So the throw, I think, is pretty good. It tightens up, but then you just have a bit, another half turn to crunch it down. But um, it's very nice, very hard. It um, feels very secure. The weight is really good on this thing. As you can see, you have this um, the little knob, the adjustment knob that I said um, to really track the pressure on here as you move around. It's very easy. I just move with my finger now. Uh, it seems to hold up pretty well. And again, this is a big knob. Um, so it's great for twisting. Feels very comfortable. Has the tackiness feel of these. So this panning base knob is great. Um, it feels very loose and, and again it's kind of like the other knob you tighten it down and it's pretty tight but you got another half turn to go before it locks all the way down and then you just feel it just grab and, and clamp two notches right so this is great for um you know getting down in those macro shots um or you know just shooting down at some of your landscape so that's great so you have those two to choose from one for panning and tilting, but you see this does hit. If you're face down like this, you will hit. So by twisting this down, it still it still hits. It rests on here. Um, I don't know if that'll be a problem for me per se. I don't know why I'd want to have it that low for me. Uh, I know that there's going to be other instances and and uh, other type of ph photographers who will use that. But um, currently, I, I don't. Uh, I'm mostly landscape photographer, seascapes, landscapes, um, little portraits, street photography, which obviously doesn't uh, have anything to do with the ball head. Um, but 
Um, I don't do any macro and I haven't gone into too much panning. So for me, um, that's not an issue. But for others, it, it might be. So I just want you to be aware um, that it does hit if you want to um, drop it down all the way. It has this level right here. And uh, we also have these two Allen wrench knobs that um, you can take that off or, or adjust it. And then you see that um, same neural on this handle for the head. Pretty nice and smooth to release. It has quite a bit of room as you can see that. Nice and smooth. Feels great. These notches for your L brackets or your Arca Swiss type brackets. So of course this is uh, Arca Swiss style or Arca Swiss holder. So it's great for my L bracket. I have a D7200 with the L bracket. So this is great for me. Another reason why I chose it are these Arca um, Swiss holders brackets. Um, quick release plates are very popular, very inexpensive. Um, so this is a, a, a great head for that. I find it, um, you know, pretty good size. I believe that it is 58 millimeters, if I call, recall correctly. Um, that it is, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's 38, um, 37 to 41. So that right here, we're looking at 37, and fully open, we're looking at 41. I wanted to show the um, bottom, the base of the um, 44. It is made in China, as you can see. Um, it has a 3 8 thread on the base, but it also comes with this quarter adapter, quarter inch adapter as well. I will be using, or I typically just use the, um, the 3 8 thread that comes with the tripod, but I'm going to show you next uh, how it looks on the tripod. And so. As we look at what this looks like on the tripod, I have the Desmond 432 carbon fiber tripod. This is not a very large tripod, but it is in between a travel tripod and for say a three series tripod. So it's definitely a, um, a I would say a two level or possibly a one level. Uh, at that point, but I, I will talk about this tripod in a later video and really go in depth and detail about it. But I just wanted to see, show you what it looked like with it on it. So imagine um, this head on a two series tripod, which I think is the perfect size. What's really great about it is that it has such smooth action, especially with the panning knob. So as I mentioned before, here is the, the panning knob, the tension panning knob. So, um, you know, just a couple clicks loose and this thing is so smooth. And again, this isn't all the way smooth, all the way out, all the way out. It is just so smooth. It's really nice. Um, as you can see here at the bottom, you have your degrees indicator. Um, and that you have five degrees uh, in between the zero and the 30, so each notch is five degrees. And then you have this uh, laser etched arrow to indicator to show you where you're at. So that's a, a great touch, um, very, um, a, a very nice when you wanna do your panoramas and it's, uh, it's, uh, it looks nice, it's great. So again, um, I wanted to show that very smooth. And then when you tighten it down all the way, like I said, for all these knobs, I noticed that you tighten it down, it's tight, but then it takes a half turn, you just hear it, just, it and not hear it, but you feel it just, it is on there. So it's, it, I think it's a really good feeling. It's not just all of a sudden, you know, tight without any, any bit of, you know, feeling that pressure really clamped down. It really takes on a smooth, hard, and then a finishing up of the tightening. I, I like that. It has more feel to it um, and more throw on the knobs, so it feels great to me. So I wanted to show you, so I have it tight, and there's no wobble, there's no wobble in that whatsoever. And it is, oops, sorry, I, I unscrewed my, <laughs> I uns untightened that, but there is no wobble in the panning whatsoever. It is not going anywhere. I'm gonna unscrew my ball head before 
I loosen the panning. So I did see a few reviews where, um, this was on YouTube, I believe, where they said there was wiggle room in the panning. Um, so after they tightened it down, it went side to side a little. I don't know what the resolution to that was, but I, I don't see that. I don't notice that. Um, so I think that they just got a defective um, product uh, at that point. But there's no wiggle, no play in mine whatsoever. Um, so this is the size you can see on the 2 Series. I think it's a perfect fit for the 2 Series. It hangs over just a little bit. Um, but I think it's perfect. So to sum it up, my initial thoughts are this is a great head. It satisfies all my needs that I spoke about earlier, being that it's low profile. So I'm using a 2 Series tripod. So I was looking for a balance between something I could travel with as well as something that's sturdy enough to handle my landscapes and my seascapes and anything else that I want to use it with. Um, you know, some pretty decent winds and some, you know, decent waves perhaps hitting my tripod, absorbing that, and then matching it with this um, 44 millimeter, um, 88 pound weight head so that... Um, the compact size is is really great um, compared to those the taller heads. Um, you probably sh shave an inch off on average. The finish finish is really nice. It, it just looks so clean and nice. No fingerprints. It looks very durable. Um, that it won't be sc scratched up as easily. But we we'll have to see with that when I come back at a later time and um, check out its durability. So the uh, jury is out on that. The um, smooth action of all of the handles and the gnarl grips um, and the throw, like I said before, it just really has smooth action and throw to clamp down. So I like that feeling, more precision feeling. This, this suits my needs. Um, the most heavy gear that I have currently is the Nikon D7200 with an L bracket and my 70 to 200 Sigma 2.8. Now that is you know pretty heavy, but not surpassing seven pounds perhaps. I do have other lenses, but that's the largest and I use my filter system kit. I have a remote shutter with the uh, hot shoe transmitter on top, but those don't weigh much, so I won't even count those. So with an 88 pound rating, maybe having eight pounds at the most this is this is an overkill but a great overkill because you want to feel that safety and you want to feel um that your your stuff can handle it and if you're going to spend the money if you're going to spend 150 175 dollars why not pay the extra to get a little bit more security and also um, for planning down the future um in planning in the future for larger lenses i would like to get a 150 to 600 lens for landscapes and maybe some wildlife i'm not sure yet if if it's something that i will buy but that is something that i would like to at least rent a lens and see if it's something that i would like and uh, would get my money's worth but at least i have the tripod and the ball head to support that so i think that's really important for planning to make sure that you have the equipment that fits your needs and of course you're you're, you're spending 250 dollars you want this to last you know at least five years, I would assume, 10 years on average, because you know I don't think any great technology will come out that will change ball heads dramatically where you'll need to you know, upgrade. So overall, I love this ball head. I can't wait to go out and use it more intensely. I've only shot with it uh, around my area um, just to test it out. Um, but if you're in the, if you're in the market for you know, 150 to 300 dollar ball head. You want that support. You want to feel confident. You want something that looks great um, and um, is is top quality without paying you know 500 dollars. Um, then I think that you found your product. So if you have any you know questions or thoughts, you know please leave your comments. I, I don't think you'll be sorry for purchasing this. I think that for the most part, from my homework, um, everyone typically likes it unless they had an issue with it from the get-go, maybe a quality control issue. But aside from that, everyone seems to really enjoy it. Um, 
and I think I will too. So thanks for watching. Um, look out for another video where I will review this in the long run. Um, sorry, I will review this as I use it a few months later. But as well as I'm going to review my tripod, the Desmond 432. Um, I'm excited to test that out as well. Show an unboxing um, and talk about that. And perhaps I will try a larger head. I was thinking about getting a, a 52, 54, 55 millimeter head and seeing what that's like to have that. So um, I might have more head reviews um, to really see what best fits my needs. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.